Hello and welcome to take number three of my uh, first mellow detecting video. We won't be detecting today. I thought I'd show you uh, some of my finds. Um, I've been detecting since February 13th and uh, a lot of guys inspired me to get out. Uh, all you guys that uh, you know I've commented on your videos and everything and kept telling everybody I was going to get a camera. Well I finally got a camera. And hopefully I'll be getting some detecting videos. But I just want to show you some of the things that I've kept. A lot of things I've given away, uh, sold, or whatnot, or just gotten rid of it. Not able to keep it all. A few things I collect and keep. Um, I'm uh, really starting to get into silver. And want to keep as much of that as possible as I can. And I buy some silver, go to Goodwill on that. And uh, I'm a uh, garbage picker, uh, dumpster diver, and... Uh, just like to show you some of the things that I found. Um, found a, a couple spots to pick some bottles. Um, just want to show you what I found this year. So let's get on to that. Okay, I got to make this quick because my last video was way too long and uh, YouTube wouldn't let me <coughs> share it. Here is farm ring, whatever they did with those with their straps and harnesses. The old dog tags, clock cog, there's a dress weight, and these I really want to share with you, that's old suspender straps, just look at the detail on that thing, that is just awesome, I found that in an old school, thimble I found on some farmland, I'm not sure what metal that is, but it really rang up good, that's why I dug it up. Some old buttons that were there. I'm not too sure if they're too old, but they uh, they were in the same area as the buckle. This is uh, gold gilled and painted locket I found on my old property that my ex-wife lives at. Um, it's a neat old locket. Uh, I, I talked to a lady that lived there. She came to the house once and wanted to look at the house. Um, she was in her late 90s and she lived there when she was a little girl and she said it was an old house then so i'm just i just imagine in my mind that it was hers so it's got a little heart on it gorgeous old locket that is copper and zinc coated saint francis what would jesus do military buttons i have to show you those that is army It has a threaded shaft on the back. Two piece. I hope I remember to include everything in this video. The last video I didn't. A bobcat button. This is a navy button, I believe, from World War II. I think it has 11 stars around it. Well, the guild is going off that one. Gray matter. See some marbles. An old tag with nothing on it. Dog tag. That one's got a phone number on it. I didn't call that one. 1946 dog tag. Here's some old rings. This one here looks fairly old. Kids ring. The rest is just a bunch of bling and junk I found Kids Park. That uh, hairpin really had me fooled because I just started detecting and I thought for sure it was silver. Of course it's not. It's got rust on it. Then we move over here. A little Dale Earnhardt thing going on. This is my prize possession. My Strombecker Model Makers Club badge apprentice you got that when you uh finished your first model and sent in for your second back in the 1930s worth about 200 dollars i am told um anybody knows anything else about it i'd be glad to know there is that goes on a 
cast iron fence the top I found that in the farm square nails at a farm and the buckle at a farm here is my ammo that I found some old shotgun shells little two ringer lead shot I think that's modern um, a little bit of the ammo I found a lot of that I find in playgrounds That there is a Missouri uh, tax coin, Indian heads, I think one of those Indian heads are from Bob's Digging It, or not Indian heads, uh, Buffalo, head, Buffalo uh, Nickels, Indian Head Pennies. Two of those I found. One of those I think is from Bob's digging it. I think. I know one of the uh, Mercury Head dimes that I have is from Bob's digging it. And one of the Roosevelt I have is from Bob's digging it. Um, the rest of Mercury's are mine I found. That I got from Lincoln's New Salem. We'd uh, deface some. Uh, Zinkins. I think we should deface all those. A little lighter I found. Nothing makes you more mad than to find a lighter it don't work. And that I believe comes off an old uh, watch. Not too old of a watch though. There is uh, if anybody knows what these are I have no idea. I found them in my niece's yard which is a Victorian house. I have no idea. See the, the square slot on the back? There's two of them. One from the front yard, one from the front. This I just bought. I, I did pay that full $16 for it. But I didn't. I've never held anything that was a barber. So a barber half for 16 bucks, I paid for it. Do I regret it? No. I wanted it. But, uh, little piece of silver there it was a, a necklace on a cheap chain on an Avon chain I just took the piece off had plastic caps on the end this silver scrap and it weighs like three or four grams I can't remember 50 cents this was my second find when I first started detecting well it was about a week later after I started detecting my second big find six grams of silver this is my very first find detecting believe it or not got out of the car started detecting it was a screamer six grams real nice silver ring found that at a driving range about six inches down this I paid at, I think two or three bucks for a goodwill it's 925 this weighs a little bit over an ounce it's a 925 giant ring and to, to pick up silver at goodwill for a couple bucks is the way to go and i do that all the time and i'm going to be trading all my silver here shortly for uh, more silver eagles this is probably three or four grams of silver i bought that at a sale for three bucks This is my girlfriend gave to me. She went over to uh, Holland. They went to Amsterdam. Her and her ex did. And she brought that back. I think it's, I don't know what the changeover rate was. I think we figured out it's like 12 bucks. But I'm just going to keep it as a souvenir. There's my silver eagle that she got me for my birthday. We just got that. This is the Abraham Lincoln dollar, which is modern. Um, it come in that case. I paid two bucks for that. Just a collectible. And these are all my wheats. Those are the wheats that I find and collect. Um, I don't really go into detail with them. I just throw them in a bag, and someday I'll go through them and sort them out. 
these are all of my cars that I metal detect and collect. Um, I uh, just got them sitting on tables and stuff around the house and I display them. Um, I live alone so there's no woman around to tell me I can't so that's what I do. So um, my girlfriend's not moving in with me anytime soon so I'm allowed to do that. These are my clad quarters which I do my laundry with and I spend every time I do laundry and I don't pay for my laundry. These are my dimes and nickels which I cash out once a month usually about twenty to twenty five dollars which comes in handy. These bottles I found at the park which I found out used to be the old bottle dump and trash dump here. Um, every time it rains I go down to the creek and pull these out. Um, these little blue things here are dosage caps that used to go in glass bottles. Um, one of them's got a crack and it's ruined, but the other one is in perfect shape. Um, that is a Canadian cheese paste I've researched, and it's in really good condition from the late 1800s. So, but see this big thing here? That I found at the side of the road, somebody thrown it out. That is a hand pump. I'm going to back up and give you a good view here as I bump into things. It has a hand pump on it. That is a hand pump vacuum cleaner from 1909. It's called the Everybody's Vacuum. I found that at the side of the road. Um, before I started detecting, I didn't care about collecting stuff or junk and stuff, so that I got at the side of the road but I just wanted to share to you some of the things that I do um, I'm big into silver I want to buy more silver silver is tw about 20 to 21 dollars an ounce right now buy it now because it's going to go up uh, metal detect it keep it stockpile it um, turn it into uh, silver eagles or just keep it until the price goes up. Don't trade it to guys that are only going to give you 50 to 60% spot price. Just keep it. But uh, I'm getting close to 15 minutes. Yahoo only give me 15 minutes, so I'm going to get off here. But uh, I hope to be out detecting soon, and I will make a video and uh, show you my detecting techniques with my F2. But uh, bye for now. Hope to share more with you later.